Hey everyone, what's up? It's your girl, Cheska, back at it again with another video. But this time, there's not going to be a homeschooling vlog. Not yet. I have one up and coming, so watch out for that. But today, I want to talk about uh, local literature. Yes, local literature. It's a manga book, and it's amazing. It's based on Philippine mythology and pre-colonial Philippines. I'm in love with it. I am actually obsessed with it right now. I had to read it for my book club, and I'm going to share with you my thoughts and why you should read it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you. Still smells new. So I got these books about a week ago. A week ago? A week ago. A week. I had this books about a week ago. It arrived from Shopee. No worry, I disinfected it. If you watched my last vlog where I disinfected it, you know I disinfect my stuff. So I'm, I'm safe. Please, thank you for your worries. Thank you. But I disinfected it and I started reading. I'll share my thoughts about this book first. I am not a big fan of comics or manga. I do not read that at all. I'm more of a literature kind of girl, you know? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, those books, the text, I'm not really into reading text with pictures. Not that there's anything wrong with it, you know, it's not my forte. But our facilitator for our book club, which I will also talk about later, said that these books were actually based on Philippine history. Philippine history, pre-colonial history, and Philippine mythology. If you know me, I am a big fan of Philippine history. What more Philippine mythology? I keep on saying mythology. Leave a like, okay, if you hear me say mythology again. And I wasn't into the idea of reading a manga. No. But after I read the first book, it was a bit confusing because Tagalog, I'm not good at Tagalog. Well, I can speak Tagalog, but I'm not really immersed in deep Tagalog, like Tagalog, pure Tagalog, like Sanhe, deep Tagalog words, Sanhe, Sanhe is the only thing I can think of, but, you know, saying, like, I think every homeschooler can relate when I say, Filipino is my Waterloo. To those who are also under teacher Emily, you know what I mean, Waterloo, Waterloo. Anyways, let's start, let's start talking about this book. That was just my first thoughts. Let's get on to our first part. So, Ma'i is a story about nung unong panahon, basically the first name of the Philippines, or the first period, the pre-colonial period of the Philippines, which was then called Ma'i, before the Philippines became the Philippines, before King Philip commissioned his people to find a land of gold, of jewelry, of richness, of a pearl in the east, a pearl in the orient, it was called Ma'i, which means land of gold. Coincidence? I think not. So this is based on a fictional world where Ma'i is plagued with dangers, known as the Kalila. Did I say that right, Kalila? Yeah, so it's plagued with dangers. And we have two heroes here in the beginning. So there's Lakan and Luta. And then of course, we get introduced to Aman, who is also a character, and the three Apo. Yes, they were based on Apo Hiking Society. So, let's talk about this book. Now, what I really liked about this was that it used Philippine mythology. Where often do we see that? Of course, there has to be works published that rely on Philippine mythology and pre-colonial Philippines, but they're never really into mainstream media, and if there is, it's extremely rare. Believe you when I say extremely rare. I've been looking for that, okay? Okay, I've been looking for that, but now it's here. So aside from the fact that it bases off Philippine mythology, it breaks stereotypes. This is, this is gonna sound cliche, you know, the breaking stereotypes, but it does it in a way 
it's flawless. It's done perfectly, if I may say, perfectly. Instead of portraying the normal or the stereotyped damsel in distress of Maganda from the Philippine folktale Si Maganda at Malakas, they flipped the switch and made Maganda a man with a good heart, with a beautiful heart, and Malakas, a woman with strong physical abilities and with a very, very big appetite. Mm. Relate. I relate to her. I relate to her. Aside from that, it also talks about really serious themes that include slavery. Uh, what's the word? Sorry, sorry. Discrimination. Discrimination. What's the other one? Family. Toxic family, to be specific. And and self discovery. There's a lot of themes. Well, if you read it, and you will read it, mark my words, you will read it after this video. I will make sure you will read it. When you read it, you'll know what I'm talking about. But why slavery? Why discrimination? Why self discovery? You know, this is just this is just a manga. Like, how how can there be anything here? related to those themes that I just mentioned. Well, if you're a Filipino, you know that family is the most important value. Everyone is taught to respect their family, and I don't go against that. In fact, I would agree. Respect your family. But around the third, actually no, around the fourth and fifth book, they talk about toxic family traits in which a man is bullied by his own family. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it's not really his own family, but his family, that family. No, he was, he was taken in from the family, and he becomes family, but then he's getting bullied by family. No, I'll just edit this. And slavery. Yes. Slavery and discrimination go hand in hand sometimes, and we've all seen the effects of discrimination firsthand, and we've all read about slavery. Although it's in subtle themes in this book, there is also uh, themes provided about control. What's that control? It's a word. Gosh. Ma, what do you call taking advantage of the poor? Huh? Manipulation. What do you call taking advantage of the poor? Like taking advantage of people who are weaker. No, I mean like an adjective to describe it. I don't know. Okay, thank you. So, like I said, there are subtle themes of taking advantage of the poor. Not really poor, but people who are weaker. You know, on the bottom side of the food chain. And... That is why it caught my attention, and why it should catch yours too. So I, we read this, we talked about this in our book club, which by the way, is called Booklat Teens, PH. You can join if you like, please. We need teenagers. We need you. Yes, you. You. We need you. Huh? Ah, okay. So guys, Pananamantala? Pananamantala. Pananamantala. Yun. Panana mantala. That's the adjective I was describing earlier. What I needed. But so book lot, we need you. So we talk about books, literature, literary themes, and we discuss its impact on society, on the generation. What can we feed on it? Is it impactful? Is it meaningful? Is it trash? Well no. No piece of literature is trash. Well maybe one, but so book lot. We talked about this a lot with the publisher, by the way, with the publisher and with the author and illustrator. And they mentioned that they were supposed to make Ma'i into an English comic, to an English manga. But it would take away the essence of Filipino. It would take the essence away. It would steal life out of a single book. Every word, every drawing, every paragraph, every page has its meaning. Without the Filipino words, without the Filipino language of Tagalog, 
this would be gone. Ma'i would not be as impactful as it is. I'm not even overreacting. This is this is what they really said. Well, maybe a little bit. So now that we've talked about its positive things, there are more positive things to go on. I can actually talk about this for 24 hours, two days, four days. It, it can go on. I only got until the fifth book. I didn't know that there were eight because like I said, I wasn't really interested in getting this book before I read it. So I just got five, but I was actually wrong. I was very wrong. So if you're looking for a book to read, to study, or to just chill with for your Araling Panlipunan or Filipino subject, this is the book for you. Why Araling Panlipunan? Here are the points. Yes, it includes Philippine pre-colonial history. It includes the language of Baybayin. It also has themes and cultures derived from each island in the Philippines, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. They're all incorporated into one. And lastly, why for AP? Because it's cool. You don't want you don't want something this cool. Next, for Tagalog, for your in, for your Filipino subject, why? Simply because it has Tagalog words. It has the Tagalog language. That's it. I would also like to say that it's books like these that really take local literature into a different light. But there are so much talent in our pool, on our cesspool of authors, writers, illustrators, all you need to do is look. In this case, all you need to do is read. <laughs> we should read local literature because they put a lot of time and effort. They did the research. For Ma'i, they did the research. I am impressed. I am not a real historian, okay? Just to clarify, I'm not like a historian from UP or from any university. For that matter, I haven't even been to university. But I, I can tell that the authors did the research. If you're looking for something like Avatar, The Last Airbender, something to read, or if you just finished Avatar, The Last Airbender, this this is the book for you. This is the series for you, Ma'i. Wow, local literature. It's a blessing. But some of us have gotten into it too late. But not too late for you. Because you can check out their store at Shopee.com. Their publisher is Kawangis Comics. Just look this up in Shopee. I will put the link down below. Alright, now that we've got all of the Ma'i out of the way, it's time to announce a giveaway! Yay! So to thank you all for the 1,060 subscribers, long journey, long, still long journey ahead, thank you. I am going to be doing a giveaway. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So here it is. Thumbnail. So how to win this? How do, how do I win this? It looks cool. It looks nice. It looks dope. How do I win this? Okay, here are the mechanics. Well, first, you have to be subscribed to my channel. Of course, that's like that's why I'm doing a giveaway to get more subscribers. And like this video. Follow me on Instagram. It's gonna be right here as well. And follow me on Facebook if you want. That's optional. And lastly, comment down your favorite local literature book peace, anything local literature at all, explain to me why you like it, what good impact does it have, just what's nice about it in general, and share your thoughts. It's actually legit, guys, because I think two years ago I did a giveaway which I never really gave away. I apologize for that, but this is legit. This is gonna be legit. Legitness. That was legitness. Yes. Yeah. That was legitness. It's gonna be legit. So, two winners. There's gonna be two winners. Comment down again why you love local literature. And if you actually read Ma'i, comment down why you like Ma'i. Oh my god, I love Ma'i. And also, last but not the least, aside from these two bad boys, you will be getting a bad baby. A ball pen, basically. It's just, it's not, it's just a cool ball pen, you know, big. The one from 7-Eleven. But what's important about that ball pen is that you have something to write on. Well... That's all for this video. Thank you, Mom, for making this. She is an MVP. She is the real MVP here. Thank you so much, Mom, for helping me set up. Thank you to uh, Teacher Grace of my book club. She's our facilitator. She actually recommended that we do Ma'i. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're a lifesaver. Th thank you to Kawangi's Comics for making this. Just, it, just for making this. Thank you. 
to the authors, Arya Chilabian and Faye Villanueva. I met them through the screen and they were so nice. They were just radiating positivity. You know? They were just radiating. They were so happy. They were so happy. It's like it's impossible to be that happy. You know what I mean? But thank you so much for making this. And you, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe because I need subscribers so I can get monetized and watch this video twice as well. I'm trying to get monetized. And of course, like this video, share it if you want. And that's all. Bye! Oh, by the way, please join Booklet. I'll leave a link down below. If you want to join Booklet, <laughs> join Booklet. Please join Booklet.